Now let's go to the next topic that is hydrolysis of salts and what is the pH of their solution. Supposing if I am having an aqueous solution of NaCl, what will be its pH? If I am having an aqueous solution of NH4Cl, what will be its pH? If I am having an aqueous solution of sodium acetate, what will be its pH? Okay, how do you find out? Right, now see, NaOH plus HCl will give you NaCl plus water. This is simple neutralization reaction which you all know. And you also know NaOH is a strong base, HCl is a strong acid and the salt that is formed is a neutral salt. This also you know it, right? The salt that is formed from a strong base and a strong acid is a neutral salt. Okay, now supposing you put salt in water, what will happen? Will you get NaOH and HCl? Not at all. What you will get? This NaCl will ionize to give you Na plus ion and Cl minus ion and both the ions will be surrounded by water. Okay, so this is hydration. Okay, when water molecules are getting associated around a particular ion, it is called hydration. Right? Now let us take another example. Acetic acid plus NaOH is giving you sodium acetate plus water. This is again acid plus base giving you salt and water. Same neutralization reaction. Now you know here this acetic acid is a weak acid, NaOH is a strong base and what will be the salt that is formed? It will be a basic salt. This concept we have studied in 10th class. Acids, bases and salts we have pura kiya hai. Try to recollect your memory. Again I am telling you, if the salt formed is from a weak acid and a strong base, the effect of strong base will come in the salt. That means it will be a basic salt. Right? Okay. Now, this CH3COONA that is formed, that is reacting with water. What it will form? It will form CH3COO minus and Na plus. Now CH3COO minus, this is ionizing to give you acetate ion and sodium ion. Okay. Now what is the CH3COO minus? It is a salt of weak acid. It is a salt of weak acid. Which weak acid? Acetic acid. Okay. Salt of a weak acid is a strong electrolyte. Please keep this in mind. What did I say? Salt of a weak acid is a strong electrolyte. And you know very well, strong electrolytes undergo complete ionization. Weak electrolytes undergo partial dissociation. Strong electrolytes undergo complete dissociation. So, salt of a weak acid is always a strong electrolyte. Please keep this in mind. Same way, salt of a weak base is also a strong electrolyte. Okay, now acetate ion and Na plus ion are formed. Now, this acetate ion, it will react with water. When it is surrounded by water, it is reacting with water to give you acetic acid and OH minus. How this water is acting as an acid? Acetate ion is the conjugate base of acetic acid. Base, what it will do? It will accept a proton. Accept kaha se kar raha hai? Water se kar raha hai. So H plus yaha se le karke, wo acetic acid banega and water will be left with now OH minus. Okay? Now the acetate ion formed this will undergo hydrolysis. This is hydrolysis. To give acetic acid and OH minus ion. Right? Okay. Now, acetic acid being a weak acid remains unionized in solution. See, acetic acid is formed, is it not? Acetic acid is formed. The acetic acid that is formed, it is a very weak acid. And this will undergo partial ionization only. Okay. 
So this will remain in the unionized form or it will undergo very less of dissociation. So backward reaction is not favored. It prefers to remain in the unionized form because it's a weak acid. So it will not prefer to undergo backward reaction. So if this is not undergoing backward reaction, then OH- will be persisting in the medium. Okay, so the presence of OH- or the concentration of OH- thus increases. So you say that sodium acetate is a basic salt. Why it is a basic salt, Deco? Okay, if it is reacting with water, it is forming these two and this acetate ion will react with water and it is ionizing water to produce OH- and the presence of OH- makes it, makes this a basic salt. Right? You should have a clear understanding here. Because of the presence of OH- Sodium acetate is a basic salt. Sodium acetate is a basic salt. So if it is a basic salt, then obviously pH of this solution should be more than 7. Obvious, right? Now let's take another example. NH4OH plus HCl gives NH4Cl plus water. Okay, this is a base, acid, salt plus water. Now you know very well HCl is a strong acid, NH4OH is a weak base. Okay, and this is a salt formed from a weak base and a strong acid. Now this NH4Cl that is formed, that will react with water to form NH4 plus and Cl minus. So the ions formed will be surrounded by water. Now this NH4 plus will react with water, right? And it is taking away OH minus towards itself and leaving H plus in the medium, right? So what has happened here? H plus is produced in the medium. Look at the overall reaction. When you see the overall reaction, you will find H plus formed in the medium, which makes this ammonium chloride an acidic salt. Agar OH minus aata hai, to wo basic salt hai. Agar H plus aata hai, wo acidic salt hai. NH4OH is a weak base and it remains unionized in solution. So, the presence of H plus in the medium it is telling you that NH4Cl is an acidic salt. Right? Okay? So, presence of H plus in the medium makes an aqueous solution of NH4Cl acidic or NH4Cl is an acidic salt. So, what will be the pH of the solution? It will be less than 7. Okay, pH 7 is neutral. Less than 7 is acidic pH. More than 7 is basic pH. Okay, 